and hope you guys are doing fabulous. I'm here today to share with you this brand of natural hair care products and it's called Mish. And this brand was founded by a fellow YouTuber, fellow blogger named Michelle, just like me. So how could I not love it? The brand sent four products for me to test out and give my honest review. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, so this is my hair. I just took it out of Twist. It's been in Twist all week long. It's actually very, very moisturized right now, but my scalp is extremely dry. If you don't know, I do have type 4 C hair, which is the kinkiest, most tightly coiled curl pattern, but I am able to maintain moisture. So the brand did not send a shampoo, so I'm going to have to go ahead and shampoo my hair with a random shampoo I'm going to use, and then I'll come back for the conditioning. So it is clarified, I used a sulfate free clarifying shampoo, so my hair is ready for products. I didn't use conditioner, I'm going to go straight into using their deep conditioner, which is called Indulge, and it's made with raw honey and babasu oil. The first four ingredients are water, aloe vera leaf juice, betramonium metasulfate, and Cetero alcohol. It also has babasu oil in it, it has shea butter in it, it has olive oil in it, castor oil, glycerin, honey, and some other ingredients. As far as the claims go, it says that it's an intense, super moisturizing deep conditioner for all hair types, especially dry, damaged, and color treated hair. Indulge makes hair more manageable, softer, and healthier, which enables the hair to retain length and growth. So it says that after you shampoo your hair, just apply a generous amount, comb gently from the roots to the ends to thoroughly distribute the conditioner, put a plastic cap over your head and leave it on for 30 to 45 minutes, and then rinse it. So what does it smell like? Oh my goodness, this smells so good! Wow! It smells like candy! like real fruity, juicy candy that you had when you were a little kid. It reminds me of a bubblicious bubble gum. You know, they were just so juicy in your mouth. That's what this smells like. It smells so delicious. Oh, I could smell this all day. Very thick, it won't move. And I'm just gonna run it through my hair. but I will use a comb to show you how it works with a comb. And on the other side, I'll do my normal kind of routine. On the hair itself, it goes on really buttery and it does melt right in. It melts right into your strands. It does not sit on top of your hair. It's not perfect, but mind you, I did no prior detangling at all. So I actually am pretty impressed with the slip. I like it. I really like the way it went on my hair. It smells so good too. It's such a pleasure to use. And I only lost that much hair. It's not much. I really like it with my fingers. As far as it being slippery enough to detangle with, it definitely is. Considering it's a deep conditioner, I think that's amazing that it has this much slip. I'm gonna finish detangling my hair and then put a plastic cap on my hair for about 40 minutes and then rinse it out. <laughs>
extremely soft. It's not overly soft though. And some of my drier sections in the back, I can definitely tell that it softened it up. It's not too soft, it doesn't feel gross or like slimy or squishy. It feels soft. It feels soft. So now let's move into the leave-in conditioner. This leave-in is called Lavish Leave-In Conditioner. It's made with aloe vera and avocado oil, and it says it's a three-in-one leave-in conditioner that moisturizes, detangles, and softens dry hair. It's an excellent detangler that will aid in melting stubborn knots and tangles to make hair more manageable. The first four ingredients are similar to the deep conditioner. Starts off with distilled water, aloe vera juice, betramonium metal sulfate, and acetyl alcohol. This one is in a bottle, so you don't have to scoop it, which I appreciate because I don't like scooping. And you get quite a bit of product. That's important because leave-in conditioners go like that, especially if you have a lot of hair. So that's a plus. Let's go ahead and smell it. Wow. You, girl, Michelle. This, this smells amazing. It smells, again, super fruity, super candy-ish. I'm just loving the way these things smell. It's quite thick, as you can see. I like the thickness, which is perfect for my hair texture because I need thick leave-in conditioners. I'm just gonna run it through. Wow, right when I touched my hair, it, it just felt like, wow, that was interesting. It doesn't feel like my hair right now. It feels like it's coated like with the silicone, which is strange because there's no silicones in there. So whatever you did to make that happen, girl, you did it because my hair shaft feels so smooth that I can't believe there's no silicones in it. Now as far as slip goes, you know that I already have detangled my hair, but we can tell if there's slip or not. So let's just take a section and test it out. I think the deep conditioner has much better slip than the leave-in conditioner. Like, I can't even get my comb through this without, I don't want to rip my hair, so I'm not going to do that, but it's, it's just not as slippery as a deep conditioner, but there is some slip and it would be totally fine for finger detangling. For my hair texture, I don't think this would be the, the leave-in I would be going to for, for detangling. But the leave-in feels good in my hair. It's not necessarily melting right in yet. It's still sitting on my hair. So I'm gonna give it a few minutes to see if it'll melt in. And I actually do need to lightly blow it out because I have an event tomorrow and I wanna stretch it out a little bit. So. I'm gonna have to lightly blow it out, but I want it to melt in a little bit before I do that. I'm gonna use the oil though. This is the Polished Hair and Scalp Oil with Argan and Jojoba Oil. And it says it's a lightweight moisturizing oil blend for all hair types. It's supposed to be able to penetrate the hair strands, soothe the scalp, and adds moisture and a beautiful shine to hair. Starts off with sweet almond oil, soybean oil, fractionated coconut oil, extra virgin olive oil, argan oil, apricot oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E oil, and fragrance. So this is actually a really nice oil blend. These oils are, are quite nice. And as far as this oil, I've used it already on my scalp once during the week when it was just so dry and it was very good. I didn't even need to put it in a like an oil bottle. The way that the top was created it actually only spritz out like a very little. So you really can just kind of go like this and the oil just falls out very lightly onto your scalp or you can put it in a different bottle. But I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in my hair since I'm blowing it out just for protection. Oh, the oil smells like gummy bears. <laughs> it smells so good. I am just blown away by how good these things smell. Oh my goodness. It's wonderful when you can get a good smelling oil because midweek I do love oiling my scalp and it's the worst when it smells like a whole bunch of castor oil and tea tree and you go to work and people are like. It's also good to add oil at the end to seal in the moisture from the leave-in conditioner. Now, this is the hair that's a little bit blown out. It's very lightly blown out, you guys, very lightly. My hair feels very soft. So I'm going to probably do Bantu knots. 
To do the Bantu knots, I'm using the quenched, which is the hydrating and twisting butter made with kupachu butter and green tea extract. The first four ingredients are water, betramonium metosulfate, cetera alcohol, and kupachu butter. The butter is super thick, you guys, but that's perfect for me. I love that it's nice and whipped. It does have that same sugary smell. It smells like the sweet tart candies. It smells really good, but it's not super strong, at least when you compare it to the oil and the deep conditioner. I feel like those are really strong. The sections are going to be about this big and I don't want to use a lot because if it doesn't dry, we're going to have an issue tomorrow. So I really only want to use about this much. I'm going back in with the oil and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my fingertips and unravel the good thing is that the twist the knots are dry that's a good thing but the bottom part is a little bit frizzy that is always the scariest thing is not knowing whether or not they're gonna be So now we are unraveled and I'm a little bit nervous because they were not all dry like I thought they were. Only some of them. I'm just going to wing it though. So I am just going to unravel it slowly and just kind of pull it apart. Okay guys, so the front did not dry, but the back did dry. So as I picked it out, you could see that the curl definition was actually there. And mind you, I did not use a lot of product. So you can see with the back, the spirals are there, but with the front, because it didn't dry, this is kind of what we got, just kind of like a crumply mess. I'm going to have to do something with the front, just to be able to style it. always a saddest story when your bathroom knots do not dry by the morning but it did do a very good job with the definition had it dried the entire style would have been very beautiful so I have these twists in my hair I just did some flat twists in the back I'm just gonna go ahead and use that oil and take them down oh it smells so good left with I honestly feel like I did get very decent definition however because the leave-in conditioner is so light that on dry hair if you don't put any like extra leave-in conditioner in your hair before you retwist it I do think it could end up being slightly dry I think you would get more curl definition if you put a lot of leave-in conditioner on day two in your hair before retwisting it. As far as styling this, I'll, I'll figure something out. But I do love the twisting cream. It is definitely my second favorite product from the line. At the end of the day, my hair feels soft and I did get the definition that I wanted to get. All right, my love, so this is the final look. I went ahead and put my hair up, make it to look like a frohawk. But as far as my final thoughts, I think that this brand is fan fantastic for anyone who has kinky hair the formula of the products allowed my hair to be so so soft non-greasy i definitely loved the deep conditioner that was the best product in my opinion and i also love the twisting cream and the oil um the oil is something that i would definitely 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 purchase because not only is it good for your hair but it smells so good that you can use it on your body so i feel like that serves a double purpose i also think this brand would be fantastic for children because it smells so 
good. I don't think I've ever come across a brand who had every single product that smelled this good. I mean, the scents are not overpowering, but they are such a delight to use. So Michelle did a wonderful job with this brand. It is a small business, it is a black business, so you guys should definitely support and you won't be disappointed. So if you've used this brand before or if you know anyone who has used it before, please leave a comment below and let me know what your experience is like. I'll leave a link below with the website so you can go ahead and check it out. And if you have any questions, please let me know. But if you don't, big kisses to you all. Mwah! And I thank you guys so much for being a part of my YouTube family. You're going to see these products again. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to do so on your way out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, love, and light.